Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing the process of how I like to restore taillights that are hazy or faded. Obviously there's tons of ways to do stuff like this, like I said before, but I'm just going to show what I like to do and we'll see how good it works. So let's check it out. So hopefully you can see in the camera, I think you should be able to see. It's very patchy and faded in some spots, but shiny yet in a couple other, other spots. But overall does not look good. Let's go over here to this other one. Same story here. Even in the shiny parts, there's a lot of scratching. So I'm going to get rid of that too. So here's everything I'm going to be using. I'm going to start out with some detail spray and some microfiber towels just to clean the surface off a little bit. Obviously if your vehicle is dirty, you're going to want to wash it first. But I'm just going to use this since it's not that bad. Then I'm going to tape around the taillights, the paint to protect the paint so I don't hit it with the sandpaper or anything in the later steps. I'm going to use some 1500 grit sandpaper and some water to wet sand, smooth everything out, get it all even, ready to polish. Then I'm going to use a DeWalt rotary polisher, some McGuire's compound, and an orange pad. And then I'm going to finish off with some polish and a white pad. Like I said, I'm going to start out with a quick wipe down since they're not that dirty. Tape around all the edges. Okay, so we got the edges all taped up. Just gonna use my 1500 grit sandpaper and some water. Might be a good idea to have some soapy water just for extra lubricant, but I think water will work just fine too. Okay, so here's what it should look like when you're done sanding. Pretty well even over the whole thing. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect, but this is what it should look like for the most part. Dull across the whole thing and pretty even. So something that would probably help is you can probably start with a thousand grit, but to be safe, I would start with 1500 and you can go up to 2000 and maybe even 3000. It'll just help polishing in the end. So all I have with me is 1500 right now, but you can definitely use more than that. Go up to 2,000 and 3,000. I went ahead and re-taped around the light so the tape got a little soggy from wet sanding. So what I like to do with a fresh pad is just put a little bit of product on there and then work it in. Kind of soaks in there and then it disappears a little bit so then just add a little bit more after that. And do one little tiny spray of detail spray. Now, you can just spread it around the tail light a little bit, and then this is such a small area, it's easy to work with. So, start slow, and then it'll go faster once it's all spread around.
So this is just after the first run. Got a lot shinier as you can tell, but there's still some little scratches in there from wet sanding. So we'll do a, one more pass at least, see if we can get those scratches out. So here's what it looks like after a couple more passes with the compound and the orange pad. It's still not 100% perfect, but it's looking pretty good. I would definitely recommend using higher grits after 1500 if you're going to wet sand. Like I said, wet sanding is not necessary in all cases, but if you do, I would definitely recommend going up to 2000 and even 3000. So. I'm going to polish without any tape around and just be careful because I was getting a little bit of tape residue and it was kind of smearing a little bit so we'll go ahead and start polishing now. So I'm basically going to use the same process for polishing. In most cases you can use a little bit less product and you can basically polish until it starts to look dry and there's no more product left on there. So. By this time it should start to look really, really nice. So we'll get the flashlight out now. You can kind of see there in the light. It actually helped a lot doing the last polish step. It's not perfectly 100% but it looks really, really nice and definitely a lot better compared to what it was. So that's all there is to it. We'll go back to what it looked like before. As you can tell here, really patchy and dull in a lot of places and scratched up. And here's the after. Looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that result. Seemed to have worked for me, what I used. So what you're gonna wanna do now is probably put some type of coating, some wax or sealant or whatever on it just to protect that shine for as long as possible. But other than that, thanks for watching.